All right, now let's look at how to find joint PMFs based on two independent random variables. We know if you have two independent random variables, it's very easy to find their joint PMF because you just need to multiply their probabilities up. But now we have two new random variables based on two independent ones. Try to see how we can find their PMF using the original two random variables. So this is a problem we have. And um, we need to look at the possible values of these s and t. First of all, because s is a sum, right? s is equal to x plus y. So we know since x and y, they can only take values 0 and 1. So the sum over here, the possible values for s is just 0 and 1 and 2, right? And by the same reason, because we are looking at the difference of t, t is x minus y, and x, y, these two are uh, Bernoulli trials, so we can actually look at their differences can only be 0 or 1 or negative 1. So t can take the value either be 0 or 1 or negative 1. So now we list them over here. Okay. So now let's look at what is the probability over here. We have 9 probabilities to calculate. So let's look at what is the probability that um, s is equal to 0 Let's say t is equal to 0. Okay. So we need to go back. So when we can have s is equal to 0? s is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, because the sum is 0. There is only one case. Now if both are 0, that means t must be 0 in this case. So what it means is that this probability over here is equal to the probability that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Now by the independence assumption we have this is the probability of x is equal to 0 and multiplied by the probability y is equal to 0. So we have 0.4 times 0.5 and that's going to be um, 0.2 over here. So by the same reason and um, we can find other probabilities. Probability s is equal to 0, t is equal to 1. There is no such a chance because t must be equal to 0, we know already. So this one must be equal to 0. And so is probability of s is equal to 0 and t is equal to negative 1 because it's not possible for these two random variables to take these two values simultaneously. So this one again is equal to 0. And we just find these things one by one. Let's look at what's going to be the probability that s is equal to 1 and t is equal to 0. We try to see. So what kind of situation we can have s is equal to 1? s is equal to 1, that means the sum is equal to 1. So either x is going to be 1, y is equal to 0, or you have x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. So you cannot have the difference is 0. So that means this probability over here is again 0. And we have probability s is equal to 1, t is equal to 1. That's the same probability as x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. And that's going to be um, 0.6 times 0.5 and that's going to be 0.3. By the same reason, the probability s is equal to 1 and t is equal to negative 1, that's when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, I believe. And that's going to be 0.4 and times 0.5 and that's going to be 0.2. So we have the second row over here, 0, 0.3 and 0.2. By the same reason, we can see that probability 
that when s is equal to 2, t is equal to 0, that's, um, that means x and y, they are both 1 and t is equal to 0, so this will be the probability. x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, and that will give us 0.6 times 0.5, and that's going to be 0.3. And probability s is equal to 2 and t is equal to 1, that's impossible. So we're going to say just it's going to be 0. And the same situation is with the probability that s is equal to 2 and t is equal to negative 1. That's not possible either, so we have 0. So now we can fill out this matrix over here. So we're going to move over here and type in s is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, that's going to be 0.2, and then here we have 0 and um, 0. Okay. And this row we have 0, and then we have 0.3, and here we have 0.2. Okay. And the last row we have over here 0.3 and 0 and 0. Now we can easily find the marginal PMFs for both random variables s and t. For t, you just add the columns up. So we have this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.3 and this is going to be 0.2, right? And then for s, we have 0 0.2 and this is going to be 0 0.5 and the last one over here is going to be 0.3. Okay. And of course, we see that the joint PMF is not the product of the marginal ones. So these two random variables are not independent. So S and T, they are not independent.